Vlogmas day six. I am just getting out of bed. Um, I woke up at like 7.45, but I laid around a little bit and then got up, washed up, splashed my face with some cold water, all that good stuff. Um, Tyler already made coffee, so I'm just grabbing some from... Sorry, I'm trying to keep you guys still. Grabbing some from his batch. Cold outside. I forgot we were having a cold front. And we definitely still put the AC on, so it's cold in the house. This is like a little dark corner where I do my coffee. So it's not like the brightest area to film. I have a, a lot of packages that have to get dropped off. As you guys saw yesterday, I was packaging orders like a lot of the day. There's a couple more that have come in that I'm going to package up so that they can come out with me. Just doing my little milk creamer concoction. I'm almost done with this one. This is the French vanilla from Aldi. It's good. It's not as good as my brown sugar, but it's good. Today I'm going to make a crock pot soup. This is very much going, like I'm not following a recipe. I'm literally just throwing chicken and vegetables into some broth in a crock pot and then adding noodles at the end just to have like for lunches. I feel like that'll be a really good lunch um, and easy and it's yummy and packed with veggies and protein and easy. And the next couple days is gonna be cold so I figured a yummy soup would be really good. So put my pack of this chicken. I accidentally forgot to skip our HelloFresh. I've been skipping it these last couple of weeks. I forgot to skip it for this week, so we'll be getting HelloFresh today. We're back from our morning walk. Ugh. I'm ready to make breakfast. I'm hungry, so I think I'm gonna make a breakfast burrito because I'm just trying to eat through my tortillas because I don't have bread. I don't have anything else other than tortillas and I have a lot of them. So we're using these. We're using two eggs and bell peppers. And we'll do a little Mexican cheese. Well, this isn't even Mexican cheese. This is Shredded Monterey Jack cheese with jalapeno peppers, so pepper jack. I'm in the office, I guess. Um, I'm about to do some orders. I wanna just get these orders done and shipped out. There's a couple orders that came in that I can do, so I'm just gonna do them so that I can take everything at the same time. Crew neck, bodysuit, and dune. Man, I'm really proud that we accomplished something like this. 
these bodysuits really are so amazing the fabric the quality the way they feel on the body they're amazing definitely one of the things i'm most proud of in my professional journey for sure And I got you the whole outfit, outfit sponsored by wife. You love to see it. I just went to the post office and came back. I moved very quickly. It's so funny because whenever I go into the post office, because we already buy the labels like through our website and through Shopify. So like the line that you usually have to wait in to go into the post office, I don't have to wait because I'm just dropping off. The label has been paid, it's printed, it's on there. Most people are waiting in that line because they have to pay for the shipping to ship out whatever it is, whether it's a letter or a package. So the stairs that I always get because I just, walk right in i go right past the line and i just go to this big bin that like you drop everything in it's like a it's like a lever like it goes up and down and every single time i go to drop off orders the stairs come like everybody's just looking at me like and i'll come in like today i came in with two huge bags of packages filling up my stanley for the day well, my first family. I haven't had a bottle of water, but I drink a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of water. My chicken is almost defrosted, so in a second, I'm going to um, take out my crock pot. But first, I'm going to jump in the shower while the chicken is still defrosting so I can wash my hair, give myself a good blowout. I'm about to be out of Olipop. I need to go to the store immediately. I have one left, and it's a grape. I might go to Publix a little bit later. I'm trying to find my robe. I think, yeah. Why it's in this bathroom, I don't know because I don't shower in this bathroom. I just cleaned my ears. That's the best feeling ever when you take a good shower and it's ear clean day. But I clogged up my ears, which is not good, obviously because Q-tips just aren't good for us, but what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, I just took a shower, hair wash. Oh, there's nothing like a hair wash day. I'm doing the exfoliate. No, that is not what this is called. The exfoliate by Paula's Choice. I use this either every morning or every night when I do my skincare. I didn't use it yesterday night from what I can remember, but I've had that for almost a year. I bought it in December and I think I like it. I don't really know. I haven't been using physical exfoliators and not because I don't like them. I do still like them. But when my face was having all those bumps, I just wanted to try different stuff. I just did the uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And then I'm doing a little bit of the Skinergy Beauty 100% Pure Squalane and Sunflower Facial Oil. That's just my little combo that works very well. My ear is bothering me. I don't feel like putting makeup on today, but I do want to put on something comfy and blow dry my hair. Now I'm going to untangle my hair, pick out what I'm wearing.
in my hair back. Now let's figure out what to wear today. I have these pants that I love. I got these at H&M in Amsterdam. H&M? Yes, I got them at H&M in Amsterdam. I don't know if this color is black or navy blue. It looks like it could be either one. But I'm gonna do these pants. Okay, so cute. And I got them with this top, which is also just so cute. The colors, it's so weird because they were sold like next to each other, but the colors are off. And I think it's because the fabrics are different. I don't know, it's really weird, but I still wear it, I don't care. I need to put lotion on. I'll put some of my vanilla oil. Mm. Still the freaking best. What perfume do I wanna put on today? Cause I don't really wanna put on anything except for the one that I love. I'll put this, even though this is like a nighttime. Just two sticks. This is the Carolina Herrera 2 and 2. Or no, Carolina Herrera Bad Girl. I think I actually really like this perfume. You can see like, it's very sexy. Like, bad bitch wearing all black, fresh blowout. Like, this is sexy. First date, date night, girls night, night anything that's like, you want to channel like your bad bitch. This perfume. I'm actually almost out of it, as you can see, but I already have a backup. Get some soup going in the crock pot while my hair air dries a little bit because you guys know I don't like doing my hair when it's soaking wet. Thyme and rosemary, which will be delicious in there. I have, I have broth. I have an onion that I'm going to dice. And I have egg noodles. I got these from Aldi, I think, but love those noodles in soup. So... Crock pot. Good old crock pot. Let's put this on high. This is gonna be really, really easy. I'm going to dice up this thing. We got out our chopper. You guys know I cannot live without this thing. Highly recommend. I will link it down below for you guys. I'm gonna do like big chops. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. Like I said, could not live without this thing. This makes your chopping 10 times faster. I'm already cutting it. I'm probably only gonna use half. But since I'm already cutting it, I'm gonna save the other half and I can just use that in like scrambled eggs or any other like random dinners. Like do you guys see how fast I have diced up onions. I'm gonna do about half of this in the soup. The rest I'm gonna put in a Tupperware. I do have some garlic, so why not, right? And for this one, I'm gonna use the tiny attachment. Like this. And I'm gonna just do a handful of I'll do one, two, three, four, five cloves of garlic, because why not? There we go. Put all that garlic in there. Carrots are in there. Let's put, I'm gonna put like, I don't know. I don't be measuring anything, you guys. I am like the worst person to be like, yeah, follow this recipe, no. Cause I just be throwing things in there. With herbs and vegetables, like I don't measure nothing. Like I just throw everything in. Okay. Then we have, this is just classic chicken broth. I always like to have chicken broth on hand because it's just always good to have. Pouring in here, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do the whole. Yeah, let's just do the whole thing. Okay, 
So one whole tub of chicken broth. Then we're going to add our chicken. I need some sofrito, so can't make anything without this. If you don't have this, then I don't know. I don't really like showing raw chicken on or raw meat in general on camera because it's kind of gross. So I'll show you guys once it's like pretty. I only did one piece of chicken. The other one I'm gonna save for, I don't know what else. Grab my seasonings. I'm gonna use some Italian seasoning. Garlic powder, because the more garlic, the better. Let's be real. I'm, out, I'm about to be out of bay. That's my last little chunk of bay leaf. So I'll put that in there. Salt, mix it all around. And I'm gonna put the lid on and that's it. Okay, fridge, trash, trash. Now I'm gonna do this hair. Hair is done. I did it very, very quickly because I really hate the process of doing my hair. Love having my hair and my makeup done, but hate doing them, which is ridiculous. But I'm gonna go in with a little tiny drop of the Gisu oil, just on my ends. A little bit of this oil goes a really, really long way. So you don't need a lot. And now I already feel like a brand new woman. I really need to get my color freshed up, but my girl hardly ever has availability. I need to set money aside for that because hair maintenance, I need to get a Brazilian and I am so like back and forth on Maintaining the Brazilian because it's another thing. I hate the maintenance of it. Although I don't even go that often. I hate the maintenance. I hate going. I hate paying for it. I just hate all of it. I eventually want to do laser one day down the road. I'm just so tired of it. Like I wish I was just bald. I'm going to put on the Brazil body butter with a squeeze of the oil from Trader Joe's because I am a dry, crusty, dusty woman in, especially in the fall. Always, year round, but fall and winter, I am crust. I wish I had some bread because I would make like half a soup or half a sandwich and some soup because who doesn't like soup in a sandwich that's like the best combo okay this chicken is looks cooked from the outside I just want to cut it open and make sure that it's cooked so that I can shred it it's not fully ready like it definitely needs more time but shredding it will help cook it faster because it'll be able to get like inside of all this i'm gonna give this to lenny <laughs> i 
forgot that these noodles are gonna expand. I'm so hungry that if this soup isn't ready, I'm gonna scream. This looks fantastic. I'm so hungry though, I need to eat like now. And I keep forgetting my best friend has my freaking ladle. Oh, I'm excited. Ooh. I really wish I had stuff for a sandwich, but it's fine. Mm. You can really taste like the rosemary and the thyme. Yeah, this is good. I wish I had celery, but it's okay. So easy, barely any work. And now I have lunch for Like two more days. I just woke up from a nap. He came up to me and just gave me the receipt. The other day I wanted boom chicken pop. The other day I wanted boom chicken pop so badly. Like I wanted like the sweet and salty. I think it was because I had bought the um letter. I have bought this kettle popcorn from Aldi that is so good. So I guess they had it. I don't know So this I wanted this exact one if you have never had this before guys I could eat this entire bag in One sitting So we got two bags of boom chicka pop. Oh, they're all right here Four avocados and it's funny. He just left them here for me to put away red bell pepper, which is my personal favorite pepper Tomato we love the tomato. I don't even know what time it is. 5.30. Green bell pepper. Treats for the cat. And what is this? A loaf of sourdough. And he got two... No, he got a chopped Caesar kit. Should I bring my camera? Not that I'm picking up. <laughs> you what? I said not that I'm picking Please. So we're about to go for. Actually, going for a We're going for an evening walk. Um, it's pretty common. We go twice a day. In the summer, usually we only go once, but in the winter. going twice just to get out move around enjoy the cooler weather all that so figured we can bring you guys and show you guys the neighborhood lit up because it is so beautiful 
You smell the fires? It smells so good. So, look at this house. So cute. It's hard to focus because there's so many lights, but it's so beautiful. Our neighbors have some cute little things here. So beautiful. Love that their windows are wide open so we can peek in. <laughs> I saw them on their walk this morning. Look how cute. They were on a walk this morning. They have a beagle, like a really small beagle. So there's that. It's little, yeah. So you can see, I told you guys the other night, like my neighborhood is decked out in colorful lights. It is so nostalgic and cute. Damn, it's chilly. Yeah. Yeah, it's chilly. Yeah, but everybody has colorful lights. You can see this house right here. They have like a whole bunch of blow up things. They got two, they have a Santa that's brunette. <laughs> Old man Santa, a polar bear, a snow globe, another Santa, trees, love this. This gives me nostalgia. Yeah, super classic. Next, like, I'll get something up, but next year we'll compete. <laughs> compete. We're not competing. No, we're actually. Yeah. Leonard's being bad as yeah. usual. This house, this house doesn't even have any flow. They just said, "Fuck it." <laughs> we have lights, so let's just put them up. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like like the lights that are so white that they're blue. Like that's very blue. I like warm, like the warm white. It's really dark, so and it's only like six o'clock. Um, it's okay though, cause this year, now that we see that our neighborhood doesn't come to fuck around. Yeah, we know. We can prepare this year after Christmas is over. We can see what's on sale buy things that are on sale for next year and just save them. Yeah. I still would like literally just like a couple candy, like I feel like with just a couple candy canes and a little bit of lights, we can at least have like some, some oomph. We don't have to ball out this first year. See like, even like this, like they just have some lights in the trees, some lights around the window and a wreath. Granted, it's a little boring, but. Or even some little reindeer. I'm really into these damn reindeer. So cute. And like, that looks simple. Look how beautiful their wreath is. You can't see it too well over here, but. It's trying to focus, but there's so many lights that it's hard. got lots of green the people that live in this house are literally like 105 they're really really old so this is very cute like it's super cute they have the cute little lights up love that for them this is one of my favorite houses I love just the just the way their house looks they have a brick house with now I have to change <laughs> what I want because we literally wanted to do a white house with black shutters and baby blue doors and Tyler made an entire design of it Ooh, look sparklies Tyler made a whole design of it when we first bought the house and then we saw this house and we were like this is the exact colorway literally white house black shutters baby blue door I love their house so much Ooh, and the bit, the one over here, super bright. There's just definitely like white lights, like fluorescent. Which is not my personal favorite, but the house does look beautiful. We decided we're gonna do a cookie baking tonight, which you guys know if you watched Vlogmas last year, we did a different cookie recipe a week. That was some of like my funniest content because it was just funny. Right when we get back home, we're gonna go to the store 
Um, we were just missing literally one thing, which sucks because if I would have known that we were gonna bake cookies, I would have told you to get the cookies while you were at the store. Um, we only need one thing, which is Oreos. We're gonna make cookies and cream cookies. So we need Oreos. And that's it, we have everything else. Well, we have to check when we get back home to make sure we have everything else. Um, and then when we get back from the store, I'm gonna make dinner really quick, and then right after we eat, we're gonna start the cookies. I don't think we, I don't think we have baking soda. Okay, we'll check when we get home just to make sure everything that we have, and then, so. My battery is low, and I don't want it to die in the middle of the walk, so we'll see you guys at Publix, I guess. Okay, we're in the car. Our HelloFresh is arriving right now. So freaking late. It usually arrives in the morning. So all we need is butter and Oreos. So that should be a fairly quick, quick trip. We don't need much. I was gonna try to knock out the tile, the rest of the tile today, but since we're here, I think Okay. Can I put this right here? I need like one of those clips. They have like the clips that clip like, here. But it's also like so nice. Because then everybody looks at you like, wow, this looks good. Did I call for regular, double stuffed, originals? Regular. The mint ones? Just regular. You want to grab them? You do it. Who would have thought ice, uh, the hot cocoa would be right next to the diapers? Then <laughs> I still don't see the hot cocoa. Young man, where's the hot cocoa man? One of your co-workers said it was on this aisle. We're back home. So, let me put you guys on. My battery died when I was in public. Story of my life. And I didn't bring a spare battery. Tyler's second trip to pub. They probably see you in Publix. <laughs> And they're like, does this guy... Did you already open this or is this... Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I did. I had a couple. I gotta remember all these. You know how many like cute little lunches we could have with these gift cards and... I don't even know where they're for. One of them is for Olive Garden, Longhorn, Cheddar's, Yard House, Bahama Breeze, or Season 52. One for Panera. I have one for Bole, which you probably wouldn't care for, but it's more like healthy. Um, I have the leftover one from, oh my God. The red top. Whole milk. Okay. So he got milk, as you guys saw. He grabbed Swiss cake rolls. Last minute, he grabbed these pretzel dip, or milk chocolate dip pretzels. Even though I think the Trader Joe's ones are still the best chocolate covered pretzels. We got butter because we have to use two sticks and I only have two sticks in the fridge so we bought more just as a backup. I got some Olipops, I got a strawberry vanilla and I got two grape because you guys know grape is my favorite. This has really been coming like my guilty pleasure even though it's like really good for you. But that's been becoming like something that like I feel like I want to have all the time and especially because all I drink is water all day like. And then... Oreos. So for the cookies. For the <laughs> we had to buy cookies to make the cookies. So you scanned this receipt? I haven't yet. And our HelloFresh came in, so this was not chosen by me because I completely forgot to skip the month. Open it. While I do this fetch. Onion crunch chicken. That's gonna be good. And this is with mashed potatoes, roasted green beans, and honey Dijon dressing. Sweet chili beef green bean bowls with jasmine rice, crispy onions, and cilantro. So this is like an Asian inspired meal, which that's gonna be very, very good as well. That one I have to switch the meat. pork tacos with pickled onion and Southwest. <gasps> yeah, we don't eat pork. Really, we'll just eat like bacon every once in a while, but we don't really eat pork like that. Um, so I'll usually whenever we get pork, I'll just cook it for Lenny. Leonard! Lenny! Okay, I'm gonna make pollo guisao and I am like positive someone has asked me I think it could have been one person. 
but I can't remember because usually when I cook certain like Spanish meals, I'll get requests like, oh, can you show like how you actually made it? So I'm just gonna show you guys how I make my pollo guiso. There are so many variations of it. Um, my mom makes it completely different. My sister makes it completely different. I feel like you just have to make it how you think it tastes the best or in your preference. I personally like to use chicken breasts. A lot of people use a whole chicken, like with wings and drumsticks and all that. That's how my mom does it. Um, and then you're supposed to use tomato sauce, which I have here, which we put on everything. Sofrito, my mom always said, make your pollo guisao the same way you make your rice. So sofrito, sazón, sal y salsa for the base. I cube up my chicken breast. Like I said, some people use different forms of chicken. I just personally don't feel like eating around bone. Like, I just don't wanna do that. So instead, I just use chicken breast. I cut that up. And then we use um, diced pieces of potatoes and carrots. And usually that's it. Sometimes my mom will put peas in it. Um, but it's almost like a stew. Like I think it's technically just considered like a chicken stew. I think the exact name for it is chicken fricassee. I think. Um, yeah, pollo fricassee. So yeah, I'm gonna make it with white rice. So I'm gonna get my rice going first and then um, I'll, sh I'll like cut to when I'm making the pollo guisao. Um, like I said, it's really, really simple. You literally just do everything that you would put into the yellow rice or even beans you would put into your pollo guiso so <coughs> some people i've seen i think it's a dominican thing i'm not, if you're puerto rican or any other um like hispanic nationality um i've seen dominicans put sugar like they um caramelize sugar first i don't put sugar because i don't want my like my pollo guiso sweet. I've heard that it's very delicious though. I just don't personally like that. I keep it simple and just do that regular stuff. Um, so I need to just wipe my stove. There's still like a mess because Tyler hasn't grouted. Um, his back is hurting him really badly from like bending over and he tattooed today and he has to tattoo a full day tomorrow. He was gonna do the grout today, but he was like, I, my back is just killing me and he has to tattoo tomorrow. So I'm like, just leave it. There's no, like there's literally no rush. Save it for a day that, like it's literally better to just save it for a day that you don't have anything going on. That you're like, okay, let me kill some time and do this grout or whatever. So, just wiping my stove down. So, I'm gonna get my rice going um, and then I'll come back when it's time to do the chicken. I have my yellow rice. I decided last minute to make yellow rice. I know Tyler will be super excited. Cause I usually always just throw white rice cause it's just fast and easy to make. Um, but now I'm gonna switch over to prepping my pollo guiso. So like I said, chicken, potatoes. I just have three little potatoes left, so that's perfect. Carrots, and I have peas, so I'm just gonna throw them in there. And I'm just going to chop in small pieces. Tyler usually likes everything diced small, like around the same size, so he can just scoop everything into one bite. I don't really care, but he's very picky. He's, Tyler's very picky, like annoyingly picky. And it's always about like stupid things, like the size of the chopped vegetable. Okay, so we have our potatoes. Potatoes, sorry, my freaking knockers are like in your face. Um, then we have carrots and peas, but they're frozen, so I don't really have to do much with them. Then chopping the chicken. I hate touching chicken with a passion, but gotta do what I gotta do. So we got our potatoes, we got our chicken. This has fat on it, so I'm just... Normally I would use a pot like this, but because I'm using that pot for rice, My always pan because it's nice and deep. Starting off with avocado oil. It's the first things you're gonna do. And then the next thing is sofrito, which again, if you don't have this, I'm not really sure what's what else to really say. This is essentially a combination of a lot of herbs, 
bell peppers, onions, all blended together. Garlic, it just has a lot of herb and vegetable in it that is basically like the base of all of our meals. We use it for everything. I eventually wanna start making my own, but I never have like the peppers that are used. Like we use bell pepper, but we also use a pepper called ají dulce, which I tried actually growing, but it failed. An herb called recao. I don't even know how that's like the word for that in English, but we use recao, cilantro, culantro, um, garlic, ají dulce, oregano, bell peppers, onions. I don't know if I said garlic, but garlic. We use a lot of things. Put that in the blender, blend it, and then that makes like this concoction. I don't know what to use in replacement of that. People have asked me on my channel if you can buy it, and you can buy it in the store. It does not taste the same. It does not taste like this. I don't know if it's because it's frozen. I don't know if it's because of what they use. I've tried a couple different ones. I've even tried ones from like Goya, and they're just not good. I'd rather try to whip up some sort of concoction like this on my own than buy the store bought. Like if you don't have all of this, these things, if you just get bell peppers, onions, cilantro, oregano, and garlic and blend that all together, that will be better and closer to this than what you can buy at the store. It's really, really not. I don't like it. Like if that's what you use and you're Hispanic, you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, so my rice is almost completely evaporated, the water. So I think I've shared with you guys how I do my rice. Um, I'm bringing it all the way down to like 1.4 or like very low to let it finish cooking. But I swear my rice comes out pretty much perfect every time. This is what it looks like. It's obviously wet and not cooked completely, but that's there. And then just cover it and let that cook on low until the food is done. Now this is starting to heat up. Once it starts heating up, I always add the chicken first, then I add the veggies, then you add water, tomato sauce, all that stuff. So we'll get to there in a second. Okay, the sofrito is starting to heat up. Ugh. So I'm adding chicken in there I like to let the chicken cook up first before adding the vegetables so you just put that in there let that cook I'm gonna go ahead and add some sazon I would much prefer to use something that's better for you because sazon is terrible with the like dyes and stuff and it's so normalized in our culture um, but I have an entire box of it and I'm not gonna throw it away So Make it nice and colorful. You can also use just achote if you have that because that's what gives it the color I actually do have achote straight from Puerto Rico I don't know where the hell it is, but I have achote in here somewhere. Anyways Put that in there get it cooking at least a little bit It smells so good already Then I'm gonna add my potatoes And again, you guys know I don't measure shit. I'm gonna add some peas. And some carrots. Mix that all together. Now, we're gonna add some tomato sauce. This is crucial, crucial you need salsa de tomate. So, cooking that in. And then we're gonna add water, so I'm just gonna put it in the same container. Not too much, because you don't want it super watery, but yeah, like that's good. I don't know how much that was. Maybe like a cup. So you're gonna let this cook for a little bit. Put the lid on. I literally just leave it alone. Like, just don't touch it. We're gonna season it mostly at the end. Are you gonna come here? Oh, I thought you were talking to the camera. No. Okay. 
yellow. Mm-hmm. All right. What about that one? Still cooking. He just has to mix it to make it feel like he did something. I see there's peas in there, though. Okay, that's the real way to do it. Carrots, peas. Pollo guisado is essentially chicken stew, so it's supposed to have peas and carrots and potatoes. Did you thicken it up? You don't normally thicken it up, so now that you learn you how to make it, it gelatinous. No. <laughs> I'm going to make it exactly the way I have made it for the last seven years that we have been together. There's no need to be doing shit, adding flour to it. No, it will do. it will do its thing. Just curious. It will do its thing. And he bought a ripe avocado. I didn't realize. It wasn't sliced. Okay, we have a bread knife. Made from scratch here daily. I just think it's insanity the amount of ingredients that are in that. We need some thigh main banana. Now that I know, now that I know how to make bread, granted it's not sourdough, and sourdough is a whole nother beast of bread. There are only four ingredients in my bread. Okay, honestly, this is probably done. Over here, piping hot. So now I'm gonna lower the heat. And let's season this baby. Cracked pepper. I'm sorry, I'm trying to cook. <laughs> Garlic. Powder. Pretty much ready. So here's what it looks like. It's just a slightly thickened up. The potatoes usually help thicken it. Um, I guess like the starch. I'm sorry? I don't know how thick it. The starch in the potatoes helps thicken it. So it's not so liquidy, but it'll thicken a little bit more as it sits. And then Rice, nice and fluffy. There's one button I don't know what to press. <laughs> it's the say anything. Yep. And what's annoying is that you're actually terrible when you cook as well. You're so controlling and mean when you cook, <laughs> and like you barely cook. So it's like when you do cook, you're like. Out, move, meh. Like you're very just like not with the shits. No one can fuck with you. No jokes. Yeah, nothing. I'm very, like busting shit out, making shit happen. That's like going to a real kitchen. There ain't no jokes. There ain't no. Okay, but then you come over and start touching no, my shit. Ain't no kumbaya in oh, the kitchen. Oh, ain't no kumbaya. Out of the kitchen. You know what I stopped watching? If you can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. Get out of here. I. Stop watching um, Bear. The Bear? Yeah, Bear. And I liked it. I liked the first, I think, season of it. A lot, actually. I just put the lid on that until it's done. Um, like, until we're ready to eat. So I'm just going to load up the dishwasher to avoid a messy kitchen. Bear. Uh, you're all stressed out. You that are. That could be done so much more efficiently. You got that thing just thrown in there, like you're not putting anything else in the dish. There's box. really not that many dishes. Look at you, micromanaging. I, really, I open that shit sometimes, and I'm just like, man, like, I don't know. <laughs> you were just throwing shit in there. I hated doing dishes. Our entire relationship. So. As long as shit gets clean. So I bought you a house with a dishwasher so you don't have to. Yeah, but this is still essentially doing dishes. So I clean them, rinse them, load them. I was them. just trying to do it. You just shushed me away. 
because you work. So I'm trying to be a good housewife. I don't know where the cat's place are. On the couch over there. I found them. Oh. I had some time to develop them over there. Did you? John Ross. What did you get? I said it's soft taco. A soft taco, that's it? I can't wait to have the burrito again. That burrito supreme I had. Fire. Do you mind putting these in the... You ready to eat? Okay. What's your hunger level? Seven. Shocker. I don't know why you're doing that. I don't know, sometimes you're hungry. And other times. And then we've got the pollo guiso. So I'll just fill like the whole half. Lastly, and most importantly, aguacate. Tyler will only be eat about a quarter of an avocado. So I'll just give him a quarter and then I'll take the other just to that. So here's what we're looking like. Yellow rice, pollo guisao, and avocado. You want to turn the light on? We have cherry coke in a glass bottle. Is it actually cherry coke or is it some bootleg? Like it's cherry cola. Is it all these? Would you like to try it or not? Yeah. Is it all these? It's bootleg, I'm You're sure. You're bothering me. We got peas in it, Leonard. It's going to be a little different. I was telling Leonard it's gonna be a little different. We got it's gonna be a little different. The, the geese out. No, it's not. We got peas in it. It's just another vegetable. Oh my god, that's good. Can you uh get me a little bit of the side of it? Cherry cola. Really good. <laughs> That's a thing. Wow. This came out good. Only time he behaves is when he thinks he's gonna get a piece of food. You're not getting none of my food. I'm eating every single bite of this. I measured this to see how many calories was in like my serving. Just to see, because Spanish food a lot of the times can be, I mean, it's very heavy, very hearty. And this is like, my serving was super low calorie. Well, not super low, it was like a normal. 455 calories. Not cutting anything out. Avocado, rice, potatoes, carrots, peas. Okay, so I did not realize how much footage I had for today for it being a day that I literally didn't have that much exciting things going on. I have two hours and 20 minutes of footage that I need to condense into a normal vlog. So like maybe an hour. I was going to include us baking cookies in this vlog and there is absolutely no way in hell I can fit my computer probably will not even take that much more footage. So I'm going to end this vlog here and we're gonna start baking cookies and that's gonna be another day of Vlogmas because it's just what it is. It's just what we have to do because literally two hours, 20 minutes and 28 seconds of footage. And that is probably gonna take about five hours to edit. 
So that is the end of Vlogmas Day 6. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's the 6th. So I think we're done. We're done with this. We're done with Lenny playing with balls inside the house. He's ruining my living room. I had eight balls at once and was throwing you. <laughs> and he just thinks it's hilarious. I'm not, I haven't done you're, anything. You're fueling him ruining my living room. Okay, anyways, um, I will see you guys in the next vlog. You guys will see us baking cookies. Hopefully this was enough food for one vlog because you guys saw me cook soup and make dinner. So see you guys tomorrow.